It's not a very good stalk, my darling. Really incredible, uh, they love the smell of coffee. Your cup of coffee. <laughs> my cup of coffee. Hello to all you line lovers, coffee lovers, comedy lovers. And if you just happen to stumble across this video, it's your lucky day. Today we are going to throw back to one of my favorite videos of all time. A lot of you are new to the channel and uh, we don't want you to miss it. So to celebrate the end of the year, we are bringing back the coffee challenge. If you know me at all, you will know that I generally survive on coffee. Almost four years ago, we had this wild idea to see if the lions loved coffee as much as me. What happened was hilarious. <laughs> this basically um, kickstarted a campaign of four years, which uh, supported four years of, of uh, conservation work for my foundation. And people are still uh, supporting this to this day. Here's just a little bit of a warning for you guys. And you're gonna see a Kevin with a lot less gray hair and you're gonna see younger lions. You're also gonna see our beautiful Amy and, and Livy who have since left us and uh, we miss them, but we love, love, love the fact that they're still inspiring people to this day. And you're also gonna see that when it comes to coffee, Bobcat, humans are not the only ones that are obsessed with it. So enjoy it, guys. It's always amazed me how much lions can sleep up to 20 hours a day. You stand more chance of hearing a lion snore in the wild than you do roar. On the other hand, I for one like to go to bed early and then I'm up at 4 a.m. to tackle the day. It's no secret that I love my coffee and after I've had it, I'm ready to face the day. My followers know how much work it goes into running this sanctuary. Hey, my girl. Oh, what have I got here? Taking care of these lions is hard work and the days are very long. Sometimes I'd rather be drinking wine with my friends than waiting for lions to cooperate. And so at the Kevin Richardson Foundation, we were thinking how we can get you guys more involved in the work that we do in looking after lions. The One Cup for a Cause challenge is about setting a resolution to give up one cup of coffee a month for lions. To inspire you to get involved in this challenge, I'm setting myself a challenge. I'm going to go in with the lions with this full cup of coffee and try and get through it without spilling it all over myself. Here goes. Best I have a few sips before she comes. It's not a very good stalk, my darling. Really incredible, uh, they love the smell of coffee. Your cup of coffee. <laughs> My cup of coffee. <laughs> it's a weird smell that, eh? That's what's always on daddy's bread. <laughs> daddy's always got coffee bread. <laughs> I've got coffee in my nose. This is seemingly more difficult than I thought. <laughs> no! Oh. Recently I was amazed to find out that 2.2 million cups of coffee are drunk a day. Billion! Oh my gosh! 2.2 billion cups of coffee are drunk a day. Just imagine if we can tap in to that and get 2.2 billion people to just give up one cup for a cause. And we thought to ourselves, we've got a following of around about two and a half million people. I mean, imagine what we could do with that money if everyone just gave up one cup of coffee. It's a symbolic gesture because we know cups of coffee differ in price all around the world. It's different in the US as it is to South Africa. So we put a figure at $5. We thought to ourselves, hey, wouldn't that go a long way? Imagine two and a half million of our followers, one cup of coffee for a cause, uh, imagine what we could do with that money for these lions and, and lions out there in the wild. So I guess the question is, are you willing to give up one cup for a cause? <laughs> my coffee. <laughs> Listen, my boy. <laughs> so come on guys, why don't you give up just one cup for a cause and click on the link. <laughs> While I get my back massage and enjoy my cuppa with my friends. <laughs>